I'm Sam Inson. I'm a, I'm a, what you might call a performance artist. Uh, but I, I'm gonna have to maybe disagree with that because I see everybody as a performance artist. I was born in Republic of Korea, South Korea. Came over to New Zealand when I was 13 to study English. Grew up in Hawke's Bay, Hastings, went to high school there. And I studied at Massey for a couple of years and then I had to go back to Korea to um, attend the compulsory military service. You go into the military, right? You go into the boot camp to dedicate your two years of youth to the Korean um, military service. And you experience these things. You, you're staying there for two years, man. Like, it's full time. It's basically go there, routine. Waking up at 6 in the morning, you know, like going to bed at like 10 or 11. But for the whole time, you're training, you're cleaning, you're just doing... You're doing stuff for other people for a change. In the army though, you know, I'm not saying it's necessarily good or bad stuff. You know, you, you get abused a lot or you get... I don't know, you just like um, go through these... Um, points where you have to physically and mentally really push yourself when you believe that you can't even do these things. It just made me want to talk about the experience more. Through a performance art? Yeah. Because it was a performance in the army, man. Being in the army is an act. You have to act other, you, otherwise you can't survive. You can't tell the senior officers or tell other people how you feel exactly. Otherwise you, you'd be in sh deep trouble, you know? Being deep shit, like, you gotta act in the army, you gotta perform in the army. And I guess kind of the kind of core idea and the, um, the kind of, the acts that, you know, we put on, you know, I put on in the army, you know, rather than that, you know. That really inspired me to kind of, yeah, talk about those ideas and show it through performance art, you know. I heard that about 20,000 riots happen each year in South Korea. Um, so we went to riots. We're, on weekdays we would train and on weekends we would go to riots. So those footages are actually riot footages. And then and then I used uh, um, a footage um, from one of my gigs, one of my, one of the bands that I'm in. You know? I guess with that piece, I kind of wanted things to be ambiguous, you know, kind of ambiguity was what I was looking at because um, well, there's one point in the video when the um, audience is um, are clapping to my performance in the kind of mashup of the sound of the, um, of the um, music that my band makes and the riot kind of sound and the audience clapping. Is the audience clapping? What, what's the audience clapping about? I was asking a question for myself as well. And I also wanted the um, viewers of the of my video piece to ask questions to themselves as well. You know, I'm kind of reperforming the act of the army. I guess I want them to kind of notice you know, what I'm doing. You know, you know I've, I've got to not stop doing that until I die. You know, no matter what kind of artist. I didn't I didn't know I was gonna get a performance art. I thought I was gonna be just like painting all the time. I love painting too though, I love all art, you know, it's like, I've got to, I can't, I can't stop drawing, um, yeah, until I disappear. Like.